Hello, my students. Here is what's going to happen today. We have a photo in here, and we are going to take um, <clears throat> an image. We have a person missing in this photo that we need to add to the photo. So we're going to take a person from a photo and insert them into this photo without having the availability of having a transparent background because we don't always have those. So we need to know a good way to... Um, add a person to this photo and this can be fun to do you can put yourself like hanging out with famous people in Hollywood and, and so forth but something you got to be cautious of is your images have to have similar quality um, so with the images we're going to be working with today they do have very similar quality and it should look decent I'm not going to make it perfect but you guys should get the point so first of all my image here is upside down um, so what I want to do to flip it around um, I can just go here to image rotation um, and keep rotating it until it gets the way I want, which is like this. And now my image is also pretty small. As you can see down here, it's at 16.67%. I'm going to look at this. Um, if, if I go up here to, I think it's window. Um, actually, no, it's image. Maybe it's not image. I don't remember where it is. Um, but there's somewhere where you can see the image at... Um, Oh, like here it is, um, fit on screen. So I'm just going to hit for it to fit to screen. And as you see, it bumps it up to 37.38%, which is fine. Um, now I need to get my other photo. So I'm going to go to File, Open. And my other photo is somewhere here on my desktop. Um, here it is. And so I click on that, and I open this photo. And it's going to open it in a separate screen so it opens it over here and the first thing I'm going to do is rotate my image so I'll just do the 180 to make it quicker um, and then um, go to view and fit on screen so I make sure they're the same size and now the tool that I'm going to show you guys today is pretty cool um, you guys may have seen the lasso tool here we are going to use what's called the magnetic lasso Okay, and what this does, so I'm going to click on where I want, and actually I'm going to want, I want her to be even bigger. So I'm going to go down here and make this at 50 just to make sure I can select it well enough. Um, and so all I have to do is left click one time, and now it starts selecting her. And then I just drag my mouse along the areas that I want it to select, and it kind of just auto selects it for you. It's pretty slick, um, actually. And then there may be points where I want to click. And so you can click if you want to say, like, hey, yeah, stop here, um, and, and so forth. So I'm just dragging my mouse along the outside of her body, and it's pretty much selecting it for me, which is awesome. And when I get up to her neck, I'm going to click my mouse come around here get the outside part of her head and when I get back to the very beginning you click again and then it selects her so I'm gonna miss this little piece of hair there but that doesn't really matter um, there's so much going on in the picture no one will really notice that and now I'm just gonna go up here to edit and copy and I'm gonna go back to my original photo here and now I'm going to edit actually before I do that I'm gonna go back to this screen and I'm going to go to my view and make it fit on screen so that it sizes it back the, the correct way I wanted it sized and I'm going to copy it again. So edit copy and now I'm going to go to edit and paste. There she is. Okay and so now I want to move her and now a common mistake you guys will make is you still have your magnetic lasso selected and so you'll go to try to move her and you're like, oh, darn it, I still have the magnetic lasso selected. One thing you can do if you want to retrace, maybe it's selected the wrong thing, you can hold delete and go back. If you keep hitting delete as you go back, it will delete the marks that, that you've done. And if you do accidentally select something, what I always tell kids to do is just get it to blink and, and then it, it can go away. You can go up here to select, deselect, and, and get rid of it. So anyway, I need to go to the move tool. So I'm going to go here, my selection tool, to where I can move her. And I want her standing um, over, over in this area is kind of where I want her 
want her standing. And now some of this might be a little bit tricky because um, as you can see, this looks kind of fake. It, it, you, you can see her foot is clearly standing here. Um, and so if I want to zoom in again on this, on this area, I'll just go to like 65%. Um, I'm now just going to go to my eraser which is right over here. And I'm gonna start erasing because her foot should not be standing on this girl. And so I'm gonna start erasing around around here parts that should be covered up. Um, so here her foot should be kind of erased. And I'm not gonna take forever, so see, I kind of screwed up there. Um, but the point the point is I just wanted you guys to, to kind of see how, how to do this. Um, and to make it look semi-real. Like if someone just glanced at this picture, they probably wouldn't notice that like, oh wow, like they added that girl. Um, you know, just looking at it, it looks like she was actually in the picture, which is kind of cool. And, and again, if you, if I want to like go to edit and then free transform or, or control T, like if I decided that she's just a little too big, I can sh shrink her down um, a little bit. And when I'm done with that, hit enter. Um, and and have her have her like that. So that is how you guys um, can take an image that is not transparent and insert it into another photo. Pretty, it's a pretty cool tool to use. I hope you guys enjoy it. Later.